Another beautiful day in Bakersfield. Take a live look at our roof cam at this hour. Nothing but sunshine. It looks like it's going to continue for the rest of the week. So let's go ahead and check in with Brandon to get a look at our forecast here. Yeah, lots of sunshine. Unfortunately, that comes with a, a side effect of a big warm up as well. But for now, it's really, really comfortable. 70 degrees right now. A little bit of a northwest wind at nine miles per hour. And as you can see from the background there, there's not a lot going on, at least not for us here in the valley. It is nice and clear right now. If we take a look at the mountain communities, we've had a couple of passing showers through the the afternoon and evening pretty much winding down though as we head into the evening hours here. We're really not expecting too much more in the way of rain, but we'll continue to watch the radar just in case here. Definitely not going to see any rain for us tomorrow and that's because this big area of high pressure is going to be building in and that's what we associate with our more summer like weather pattern. The sinking air gives us nice clear skies. It also sends our temperatures really climbing and that's definitely going to be the case as we head through the forecast here and even by tomorrow we're going to see a pretty significant warm up in our temperatures. 83 your high temperature in Bakersfield. It's quite a bit warmer than we were today. 80s for really most of the valley tomorrow into the mountains, 60s, even some 70s closing in on 80 already toward Lake Isabella and already some mid 80s for places like Ridgecrest. So it is definitely going to be warmer for tomorrow. Not unusually warm for this time of year, but we'll get there through the seven day forecast. Still a little bit on the breezy side in eastern Kern County, but with that high pressure moving in, that stagnant air that we talk about, that sinking air, we're going to be fairly calm. And with that calmer condition, we are going to be a little bit hazier too. So moderate air quality for tomorrow. It's not going to be too bad. It's going to be worse than it has been, though, for the past couple of days. A little more haze on the horizon. Your AQI of 67, though, is nothing to worry about. No issues with air pollution or anything like that. 7 8 forecast here. Again, warm tomorrow. Definitely warmer than today but not unusually warm for this time of year. 91 by Thursday, though, 94 on Friday. That's probably going to be the hottest day of the year so far. Little bit of a relief as we head into the weekend, at least dropping back into the mid 80s by the time we get to Sunday. That's still warmer than average for this time of year, and it does look like temperatures will climb again as we head into Monday and Tuesday. So we've got lots of hot weather in the forecast here. Seven day forecast for our mountain communities. Comfortable still for tomorrow, but by the time we get to Thursday, already looking at upper 80s for Lake Isabella, right around 84 to half to be in Fraser Park. We see 80s across our South Mountains for Friday into Friday. We could hit 90 for Lake Isabella. That'd be the first time that happened so far for this year. Little bit of relief again. As I said, we headed to Sunday and Monday and that ridge breaks down a bit all the way down to about 70 degrees for to be in Fraser Park by the time we get to Sunday. So that's nice and comfortable, but we start to trend in the other uh, direction again as we head into next week, warming right back up. No rain in the forecast either. I do want to ask you Thursday and Friday. Do we have any wind or breeze coming our way with this warmer weather? No, it's just going to be hot and baking oh. sunshine. It's not going to be great. All right, I'll get prepared. Thanks, Brandon.